All right, what's going on, everybody? We are going to play a little Sunday, Monday round, holiday round, we'll call it. We are playing Mammoth Dunes. So this is part of the Simulator Golf Tour on GS Pro. So we are going to do that. Move those out of the way. So we'll get it going. Got the setup pretty much done now. A couple little minor tweaks, little decorations, but got our curtains up and everything. So we're ready to roll. This is literally my first swing of the day after doing all of that. So hit that pretty good. So had some people asking about, you know, everything. Um, I play on the very high graphics setting. Um, that, you know, I, I don't have a 4K projector or anything. I also, you know, I am doing recording and everything during all of this, so that matters. Um, you know, and we're running a webcam, everything going through it. So that will slow things down a little bit. But with that said, trying to hit a pitching wedge all the way there if I can. It's a big one for me. Get in there. Pretty good. Um, it is the one thing I'd say is we will. Um, I did get a new heater for my, or, uh, sorry, cooler for my computer. Um, I went out and bought one for like 50 bucks. Went to a, you know, a computer store and put that in. So we're kind of testing that out too and trying to cool the thing down. Cause the one thing I did notice was, um, you know, I did notice that it's it's working hard, you know. It's it's a very intense program. So, um, one thing I'm going to do too is, so you can see, 265 on the length there, probably pretty good. Um, oh man, this is a tweener. I just hit pitching wedge, is about as far as I can hit it. So, we'll go here. So you can see we're playing. This is Simulator Golf Tour. This is an auto putt event. I hit that really good. Just don't be too much. Yep, I crushed it. Oh man, I hit that so good. Um, so you can play other events. I just choose to play the uh, the auto putt once. So we're going to work on some chipping here. Face more open. Out of the bunker. Play a little 20 yard bunker shot. Go in. There we go. So I do like it how it feels like, you know, you are hitting at the distance. You would hit like a 20 yard bunker shot or so. That's fun. But uh, so that's why we're doing the auto putt. Again, I'm, I am putting well outside. I am not done with my outdoor season. So I'm not gonna worry about putting in here. I don't wanna ruin it. <laughs> so, you know, that's more just for fun. As we do it. So driver there, obviously I hit that one very good. Yeah, and that's about, you know, especially no warm-up, that's about what I would expect, you know, around 270 to 280. Um, been about what I've been getting. Let's see, we're gonna go five iron. So this is where you gotta have a little strategy though, because you have these auto putt circles. Um, you do have to worry. I'm gonna turn down my TV here do have to worry about if you get it in the three putt on the green in a three putt, you know, that's not good. So I'm going five iron here in the hopes that if I cut it, it should be the distance, but I'm hoping it goes over. If it's not get in there, sit. Okay. So we got in our two putt zone and that's about right. I mean, you know, I think people would say, Oh, I, you know, I wouldn't two three putt that or whatever, but, Statistically speaking, if I'm a 33 feet is that break even point for three putting. So, you know, if you're three putting 
a bunch, you know, if you're hitting it out in those distances, you will get a lot of three putts. Going with a little seven here, just kind of a stock one for me. I pulled it a little. You know, I hit my seven right around 170, so pretty good there. Not a bad shot. Um, so I do like that, and, and that's something I've actually been working on this year, is, you know, trying to, you know, put myself closer, you know, whether it's mainly just hitting it closer to the hole, but, you know, chipping closer to the hole, all of that. Lag putts closer to the hole. Ooh, my thumb slipped off there. Get out. My thumb slipped. Get in the rough and then sit. All right, bunker. Not that bad. I got up to the top and my thumb slipped off. So we've been putting it all in and it's a little, uh, a little uh, sweaty out here. It's a little humid out here. Got the window open. I turned the fan off though because I figured that everybody would want to see it. Now, I'm trying to aim at the flag. Okay. So I believe that's the flag. So this is a little weird. So we're going to go that way. I mean, I'm hitting a wedge. I should be able to get up over it. Yeah. Now we'll just see if I was right. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Couldn't see it. So they were trying to get me to punch out. I didn't want to do that. All right, here we go. 289. So again, this is where you got to be a little careful. It's like, man, I want to get it up there and do all that. But if I hit the green, it actually could hurt my chances. So let's try it. So, you know, I'm just going to send it. Not actually worried if I hit the green or not. Although I would like to be a little closer than that, but that's all right. I'm going to leave a little wedge in. Pretty much a, not a quite full one. Spin. There we go. So I did play, I played a course couple courses at the end of last week up here called uh, Eagle Ridge and actually was hitting all of those shots. I've been working really hard on those wedges. So anything like 40 to 40 yards or out, I did very well with. Anything less, still a work in progress. So let's see here. Let's see if we can send it here. Hit it pretty good. You know, and I've been driving it pretty good, just uh, really trying to get that ball launched. And I've actually just gone to playing more of like a power fade and just fading the heck out of it and, and worked pretty good. So we're gonna have to aim. So again, kind of one where I'm gonna bank on the fact that you're not really that accurate from this far away. Although I hit that pretty good. Get right. Or get in the circle. Get in the circle. Oh, just barely. Just barely. So we'll take it. All right. We've got 171 down slightly so we're going to hit a very smooth seven don't think i can get eight there it 
Hit that pretty good. Just don't be too much. Oh, bite. Get off the green. Okay. That's where you want it to get off the green. Otherwise, it's going to three putt you. And I'd rather chip it. Play a little chip. I don't know. Maybe a little soft. That hurts. Didn't need that. Fade here again. Don't do it too much. Kick left. Stay away. Stay. Okay. Tried to fade it a little, fade it too much. 161. Got it. Eight iron. Just a good eight iron here. Are coming from the rough. So we'll just kind of see. A little deep, a little deep. So they do have like, it does affect it a little bit. Like, hey, I got a little bit of a flyer there. So that is the one hard part, which is nice. I guess it makes you aware of it, but gotta be careful. Play a little pitch. Okay, there's that, 321, I'll send it that way, pitch it across, <laughs> ah, I didn't hit that good, just towed it, so. It's just not gonna, it's just gonna hang out there. Just kind of hit like a push toe. So if I didn't hit the toe, I'd be slicing that. Well, we got that 71 yarder again. I think that's a little deep. Depends how it came out of the rough. Maybe not. Bite, okay. So in this tour, I know I needed to shoot like, probably like nine or 10 under. So that bogey hurts. So we're gonna have to be aggressive. 281 there, so I can't carry that. So we can get by it though. Hit it pretty hard. Maybe I could have carried it. I did hit that one pretty hard. One eighty eight. So we're gonna have to try to hit a good six here. This is where I kind of have a little gap in my clubs at that one eighty one ninety mark. You know, so I either work a six or feather a five. You know. More times than not, I just hit a harder six. Stay, oh no. I didn't, get off the green. That's not good. So that's probably one where I, you know, it's like with the strategy, it's like maybe I just hit like an eight iron, get it up there. Hit that eight iron, get it up there. Chip it on. Pulled it. Get out of the other fairway. Man, I pulled that. A 
little slippery there. Dry the hands off here. Me and humidity are not friends. Let's just say that. Six iron, just kind of hitting it pretty smooth. Pretty good one for me to get in the circle. All right, get stop. Ah, oh, man, hit that so good. Okay, we got a gap wedge here. And I'm not sure I hit it hard enough. Yeah, bounce big. Just didn't quite hit it. Kind of felt that. Buried it, babied it, I should say. All right, what do we got? All right, we got to send it straight ahead. Hit that hard, pulled it, but hit it hard, which I'm okay with, because if I would have hit it straight, I'd be on the green, getting the rough. I'd be on the green and probably not in a good spot. Let's see, 42 from the sand, no, normally be a nightmare. Play kind of a big blast, run out more, man. Uh, just don't quite have it. So we're just sending it here. Gotta work on that pull. So that pull happens when I bring it back. I tend to shut the face. So I have been working on that, but I get lazy on it. It's kind of natural for me not to do that. So we're going to try to get crafty here with this one. See if we can go low, three wood, leave ourselves a pitch. Yeah, punch it through. Love my three wood. That is a shot I would actually try. I'm pretty good at that one. I would try that one. Oh man, that's gonna spin. I hit that so, like, absolutely perfect when I didn't need to. <laughs> Just didn't need to do that. Kind of that one too. Like, those are how I wanna hit chips, but I just didn't need it on that first one. You know, that's something I need for a shorter shot. So that's kind of just bad. All right, downhill. 183, so I'm gonna hit a hard seven. Because we're down a good amount, down 10. So that's just a seven. Should carry and bounce, bounce in. It's a tough, oh man. It's a tough spot for me there. Six isn't enough. But yeah, I just can't get it into the, the circle. But again, I do like the idea. So again, driver, I've got to feel that toe open up on the way back. So I can not pull it. 
kind of like that. It's just something I got to keep on. If I don't keep on it, I'm just so used to doing it the other way. I shut it. And we do not want that. Let's go 115. So I already hit the shut earlier. This is a little gap wedge. I could try a full sand. Man, that was bad. I slipped in my hand again. Grips are getting wet. Bunker shot. That might be deep. Yep. Played it too low. Played it too low. Well, not my best here today. Not my best. A lot of little mistakes add up. Kind of a typical round. I was kind of saying this earlier. Played on a round and you know I got to three under through five. This is an Eagle Ridge. And then just two three putts in a row, finish the side on one over or one under, sorry. And then one more bogey and just little mistakes. That was a little slippage. Definitely slipping in here with the, uh, the humidity. So can't wait to get the setup working. Could throw the glove on, but that's all right. We'll just dry off the grips for this last kind of swing. So fairway wood out of a bunker. It can do it, so we'll try it. Didn't hit it my best, but it was okay. Problem is it's going to get on that corner of the green. All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take a two putt birdie. So not a bad round. You can see it's pretty fun. Three under there. You know, a couple three putts for par. You know, didn't get a birdie in there close and then just hit some a couple three putt bogeys. So that's what you get. A couple two putt bogeys in there too, I think. One or one of them at least. So that's what you get. But a lot of fun. Loving GS Pro. Excited for it. So let me know if you have any questions about it, any questions about the setup. We'll be happy to share it with you. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll have more of these rounds. So keep on subscribing, and we'll see you then. Peace.